hello. We're going to do a quick little video. We'll call it maybe a video tip of the day. I had a student who's currently in my seminar ask a question. He wanted to know how I go about creating the initial cuts to set up an eye using a vayner. Vayner is a deep U gouge called an 11. This is a two millimeter 11, meaning it's two millimeters wide. And I'm gonna use that to go in here and start to set up this mound. I need to try to create a sphere or a ball. And if you look at this mound, you can see it's already curved to the outside of the head, but it needs to curve in to the inside and down underneath. So to get down and under and inside between the eye mound and the nose, I use a two millimeter vayner. And he said when I was making these cuts, I was doing it so fast, he really couldn't see how I did it. So I'm gonna slow down and hopefully let you see everything I'm doing. It is not uh, magic, but there are some smoke and mirrors involved. So pay close attention. I'm going to keep this vayner to the mound, the eye side of the nose, where that circle line is I've drawn on here. And I'm going to go in at the eye line. And I'm going to drive it in so that the deepest part of this cut is at the eye line. So I'm just above the eye line and on the inside of the mound. I'm going to try to keep myself positioned in a way that you can see it, which is really awkward but I'm going to drive it down and in, and the depth I go is going to be equal to the width of the nose. So I've made a, I've made a stop cut just now, right there. So I've driven that tool in and created a stop cut. I'm going to come up to it, and hopefully the chip will fall out. Sometimes it needs a little help. Now I look at it and I've got a residual cut from the second cut. So I'm going to come back in again from the top and again from the bottom. And I'm going to make successive cuts back and forth, each one being slightly shallower than the previous until I get the depth I'm looking for. I now want that mound to come all the way down to my cheekbone, which is halfway to the nose line from the eye line. So now I'm going to stay to the outside of the circle. Up here I was on the inside, down here to the outside. Swing around and come up to meet the cut I just made. I'm using my thumb to hide it. Hence the smoke and mirrors. It's like magic. We have to divert your attention so you can't quite see what's going on. Otherwise, it ruins the trick. <laughs> okay, after I've made that groove around the mound, I can now take the blade of my knife and start to round this over from the eye line cutting down and in, making the round part of a ball or a sphere. The cleaner and rounder I make it, the better the results will be. <laughs> Shave that off. That now gives me a clearance point to set my knife along the cheekbone and slide it up toward the nose, rotating it up to form the nose. And I still have the mound for my eye. So the inside corner of the eye will be just below the eye line, same with the outside corner, about the same distance. Draw my upper eyelid on here.
my lower lid, depending on expression, it's going to sit down here about like so. That's how I set up the mound using a two millimeter vayner and the knife. So Dave, I hope that covers it for you. If not, let me know. We'll see what else we can do to try to try to create a clearer image for you. I'm just putzing around now, trying to get every little indication of a chip cleared off. That's part of the smoke and mirrors. It's what you do when nobody's looking. Come in and putz with it. So after outlining the eyelids, the pupil will sit against the upper lid in its entirety looking forward. Leave a little highlight on it. 